Years ago, I was a journalist, a business reporter uh, on the Scotsman newspaper, latterly the economics editor. And that taught me a very valuable lesson for investment management. Always be prepared to ask the awkward question. You'd be amazed at what you can find out if you're the person prepared to ask that question. Anyway, I thought that would be more fun to do in investment management than in journalism. So I had a big career change in the early 2000s and I joined Bailey Gifford at that time. Uh, I've been involved in the management of Saints now for about five years and today I am joint manager of the Trust. There are two core objectives to what we are trying to do as managers with Scottish American. Uh, the first of those is to deliver a dependable income stream and by dependable we mean uh, an income that a shareholder can rely on not to go down no matter what the economic climate, through thick and thin, good times and bad. Um, we're very focused on that resilience of the income that we pay out to St. shareholders. So that's objective number one. And the second one is to deliver growth over time. Growth in both income and capital and growth ahead of UK inflation. And our thought is that if we can do both of those things, if we can carry on delivering both that resilient income and the growth, we will end up giving St. shareholders a fantastic outcome uh, compared with some of the other options available for investing in retirement, such as an annuity or some of the other conventional products. The bulk of Saint's portfolio, so that would be about 80% of the total assets, are invested in equities. And that reflects our strongly held view that for a long-term investor who's trying to uh, deliver growth in income as well as a good level of income, equities are by far the best asset class to invest in for, for that real growth. So that's the bulk of Saint's portfolio. And then alongside that, another 20% or so of the total assets, we invest in uh, properties and bonds. And those allow us to supplement the income from the equity portfolio and, and achieve a higher level than uh, we would otherwise. And, and typically we expect the, the income that we pay out from uh, Saints to shareholders in any given year to be somewhere around 30 to 40% higher than they would get if they simply invested uh, sort of passive investment in global equity markets, so significantly more about income over time. The first key difference I think would be that we are genuinely global. We invest in almost 20 countries worldwide um, and we are big believers in seizing the opportunity when you go outside the UK market to find all sorts of exciting income investments for Saints shareholders. That's a long-standing part of Saints history. It's why Saints was set up almost 150 years ago um, and a key differentiator today. Uh, the, the second uh, thing I would point to would be the time horizon as a, as a differentiator. We are very much focused on long-term income and not short-term yield. Um, when we think about the underlying shareholders in Saints, and maybe they have a 10, 20, 30 year time horizon in her retirement. Um, we want to make sure that our investments are aligned with those needs. So you will see that we have very low turnover on the portfolio. Typically we have five plus year holding periods for investments. So that would be another um, differentiator. The last one I would point to um, would be the, the growth credentials that we have. Um, we are part of Bailey Gifford and that means that we are surrounded by lots and lots of analysts and managers picking growth investments, finding great growth companies worldwide. And we can hand pick from all those ideas to find ones that can also deliver a really resilient income alongside the growth. And that's a huge advantage for us in terms of idea generation for the fund. Our investment process is centred on finding companies that are a really great match, that mirror, if you like, Saints investment objectives. So most of our time is spent uh, looking at potential companies that we could buy shares in and asking those questions. How likely are they to deliver 
uh, real growth over a five plus year time horizon. We want exciting growing companies to invest in. And then secondly, are they going to pay a dependable income along the way? And we really want companies that can do both of those things at the same time, not one or the other. That's going to give us the best chance of uh, continuing on meeting Saint's objectives. In terms of how we generate the income for the fund, we have a, a, a fairly simple approach, which is simply um, to pay out, broadly speaking, the income that we receive from the investments, we, we pay out to Saint shareholders. So what we won't do is uh, option writing strategies, derivatives, selling down capital, some of the more, um, I would say, untried, untested approaches to generating an income. And uh, I think that's a key reason why Saints has been able to deliver its very long track record of a growing and dependable income. It, we're now up to about um, 38 consecutive years that the Saints dividend has grown. Um, we've extended that record uh, while it's been with Bailey Gifford, and, and a key part of that is in our investment process. The policy is to pay a dividend which grows faster than UK inflation over the long term. If you look back at the period since Bailey Gifford took on management of the trust, you would see, for example, that UK prices have risen roughly 40% and Saint's dividend has grown by about 80%. So we've delivered that, in, that real income growth that we aspire to. In terms of the total returns, you would find, if you look back at the performance statistics, that over a three or five year, i.e. a longer term time period, the total returns from Saints have healthily exceeded the returns from global equity markets.